In this 10th video, we will show how to disassemble and reassemble the crankshaft pulley. We will use special tools for this, standard tools, as well as a homemade pulley puller. If you don't have the right tools and use the right technique, chances are you will warp the crankshaft pulley, which you really don't want. If the engine is removed from the car, then the crankshaft pulley can be disassembled with the engine on the workbench or hanging from an engine mount as shown in this video. Start by turning the crankshaft pulley so that the two holes in the pulley are horizontal. In this position, there is then the most space available behind the holes for comfortable work. To loosen the crankshaft pulley bolt, you will need to ensure that the crankshaft cannot rotate. If the engine is still in the car, shift into fourth gear and lock the parking brake. This will immobilize the wheels and therefore the crankshaft. If the engine is on the workbench or hanging on an engine mount as is the case here, then you will have to block the crankshaft. We use a flywheel lock for this purpose. This tool can be used for both a flywheel of a 6 volt engine and a 12 volt engine. Each side has a different range. You will quickly find out which side of this tool is suitable for the flywheel of your engine. Lock the flywheel with the special tool. Tighten the nut, you don't have to put a lot of force on it. Now you can unscrew the crankshaft pulley bolt. For this engine we need a 30mm socket wrench. The bolt comes loose, along with its large washer. If the crankshaft pulley is newly installed, you may be lucky enough to loosen it without tools. Don't force anything, if gently pulling the pulley doesn't work, then you will have to use one of the special tools we show in this video. Before we begin, some basics to keep in mind when trying to disassemble the crankshaft pulley. The crankshaft pulley is reinforced in the middle. You can see the weld seam where it is reinforced. So it is permissible to apply force in this area with, for example, a pulley puller. Applying force to the outside of the crankshaft pulley will inevitably cause the pulley to warp. Once warped, the pulley is no longer usable, it could damage the crankshaft bearings and other engine parts. So, no matter what technique or tool you use, always pull on the inside of the pulley. You will also need a surface to push on, you can use the nose of the crankshaft for that. Special tools will have a special metal ring that can be used to apply pressure to the crankshaft nose. In any case, try not to damage the crankshaft. To avoid pushing directly against the crankshaft, you can use an old crankshaft pulley bolt. You screw this into the crankshaft, but without the washer. Note, always screw in the crankshaft pulley bolt completely to avoid damaging the threads in the crankshaft. With some tools, a little more distance is desired between the pressure point and the crankshaft nose, then you can just reverse the crankshaft pulley bolt. Since you don't always have to spend a lot of money on tools, we'll start with a homemade pulley puller. For this, you'll use a piece of wood about 20 cm long, 4 cm wide and 2 cm thick. You'll also need two M8 threaded rods at least 6 cm long, with 4 nuts and 4 washers. Drill two holes at a distance that matches the holes in the crankshaft pulley. Place the two threaded rods in the holes of the pulley. Secure the threaded rods to the back of the pulley with washers and nuts. Slide the piece of wood over the threaded rods. Use the crankshaft pulley bolt as a pressure point, with the head of the bolt against the crankshaft nose. Secure with the two remaining washers and nuts. Tighten the nuts by hand, such that the pulley bolt stays in place.
Tighten the nuts with a 13mm wrench, taking turns about one full turn. The crankshaft pulley should be pulled evenly and not skewed. Here you can see how the crankshaft pulley comes loose slowly but surely, without forcing it. Once the pulley is almost loose, you can remove the puller with the pulley bolt and the pulley. This was an initial technique, where we used a homemade pulley puller to remove the crankshaft pulley without causing damage. We now show how to use a special pulley puller to remove the crankshaft pulley. Unfortunately, very few VW enthusiasts have such a pulley puller in their possession. This tool has two pull hooks that fit perfectly into the holes of the crankshaft pulley. You can see that this tool does get the job done very quickly. In the middle there is a metal ring, which pushes against the nose of the crankshaft to serve as a pressure point. You can also use a standard puller which you can easily find in any automotive tool shop. We use a 75mm puller that has two arms. As a pressure point, you can use the crankshaft pulley bolt. You can screw the bolt all the way into the crankshaft, or have it placed in reverse with its head against the crankshaft. A piece of wood or rubber can be used to avoid damaging the bolt. You can't put the arms of this puller in the holes when the puller is assembled. We disconnect both arms. We place one arm in the left hole. Be careful to install the hook towards the inside of the crankshaft pulley, this is the strongest part of the pulley. We attach the puller to the first arm. Then we place the second arm in the second hole. Then we attach the second arm to the puller. We use the crankshaft pulley bolt as the pressure point. You can screw the bolt all the way into the crankshaft, or turn the bolt around and let it push against the crankshaft nose. We use a piece of rubber to keep the bolt from being damaged. With everything neatly in place, we tighten the pulley puller. The crankshaft pulley slowly but surely comes loose. When you feel that the pulley is almost loose, you can remove it including the pulley puller. The previous three tools pull on the central part of the crankshaft pulley. The next crankshaft pulley puller pulls on the outside of the pulley. We recommend using this tool with some caution, and only in case the crankshaft pulley offers little resistance. This one has a ring centrally that can push against the crankshaft nose, which is handy. This tool pulls on the outside of the crankshaft pulley, so that can be dangerous. The crankshaft pulley, as mentioned at the beginning of this video, is reinforced in the middle. The outside cannot withstand great pulling forces. So use this tool only when the crankshaft pulley is not very tight. On a 50-year-old engine with hundreds of thousands of miles on it, the crankshaft pulley will always be tight. The use of this type of puller is then strongly discouraged. Attach the clamps of this special tool to the back of the crankshaft pulley. Tighten the central bolt against the crankshaft nose or crankshaft pulley bolt. The crankshaft pulley should slide forward with each turn of the bolt. 
Use a plastic hammer to tap the crankshaft pulley loose. Do not use extreme force, just gentle taps. If the crankshaft pulley begins to loosen, then you may continue to tighten the center bolt. If there is no movement, then the pulley is too tight for this technique. This last tool is risky, you must use it with feeling, experience is desirable to avoid damaging the crankshaft pulley. To reassemble the crankshaft pulley you do not need special tools. If this is the final assembly of the crankshaft pulley, make sure that the sheet metal behind the crankshaft pulley is mounted first. Once the crankshaft pulley is mounted, you cannot slide this piece of sheet metal behind the pulley. Use the correct screws with washers for this application. Make sure the crankshaft pulley key is present and not damaged. If it is not present, the crank pulley will rotate on the crankshaft and cause severe wear. We will show you how to replace this Woodruff key later in this video series. You may apply some engine oil to the sliding surface of the crankshaft pulley. Push the crankshaft pulley onto the crankshaft nose, making sure the notch in the pulley slides over the key in the crankshaft. The thread of the pulley bolt may be greased with molybdenum containing grease. Do not forget the large washer. The crankshaft pulley bolt may be tightened with a torque of 40 to 50 newton meters. Use a suitable torque wrench for this purpose. Refer to the table of tightening torques for your engine in the Volkswagen workshop manual. The crankshaft pulley is now correctly mounted, including the piece of engine sheet metal. If the engine is on the workbench, or hanging from the engine mount, remove the special tool holding the flywheel. The flywheel and crankshaft pulley can now rotate freely again. You have seen in this video, different tools and techniques to disassemble the crankshaft pulley. In the next video, we will discuss disassembling and assembling the clutch. More information about all the parts, and tools used in this video series can be found as comments under each video on our YouTube channel. See you soon.